This is track four, and it's really regarding your ability to listen or perhaps not listen to what's going on around us. Now, if you ever wanted to grab someone by the shoulders and shake them, saying something like, will you listen to me? Few things upset us like a poor listener. I had two businesses crumple under my feet, partnerships that went sour at the exact same time a few years ago, strictly because of a breakdown in communication. Now, truly listening with the intent to learn is one of the most persuasive things we can do with anyone we interact with. But studies indicate that this most basic skill is lacking in an extraordinarily high percentage of people. People have to be listened to in order to believe that they have worth and value so that they don't feel that you're just using them for your own goals. Now, by choosing to listen, we choose to give a very cherished resource, our time. By listening, we affirm people's worth and state in obvious terms that they matter. So we fulfill people's need to be understood and feel important. As a result, good listening skills are persuasive. Now here is the top 10 list of listening handicapped habits from my workshop students. Number one, not smiling and nodding. Number two, multitasking. Number three, infrequent eye contact. Number four, Changing the topic too often. Number five, allowing interruptions. Number six, never completing a thought. Number seven, fidgeting or seeming irritated. Number eight, too many or too few notes. Number nine, twisting and turning what is said. Number 10, making others feel insignificant. Now, many emotions are associated with poor listening, from resentment to anger. Here are some brief listening tips. A couple of them may sound familiar from a couple of tracks earlier. Now, listening with all your senses for understanding and insight is very important because 38% of what is said is implied through unspoken tone. Now, be observant to body language as 55% of the message is based on what we can see. Now, set aside your own agenda and needs for a moment as good listening requires a deliberate effort. Be engaged and interactive and give respect to dignify the person you are listening to and don't allow your mind to race ahead as it tries to form a reply. If you want to persuade your customers, employees, managers, spouses, or children, you are totally wasting your time if you fail to master the skill of listening. And here is an interesting statistic. Only 33% of VBACs ever come back But if they do, 66% buy on the subsequent visits because perhaps they were listening the first time in.